Hi, I'm Bob. Today we'll discuss the panel data fixed effects demealing method. Before that, let's take a look at the panel data model and the other two estimators, the pooled OLS estimator and the random effects estimator. The pooled OLS estimator does not decompose the edge term into mu i and epsilon i t. It assumes that the explanatory variables are exogenous, that is, not correlated with the error term. The random effects estimator decomposes the error term into the individual specific component, mu i, and the random component, epsilon i t. It also assumes that the explanatory variables are exogenous, that is, not correlated with the error term. It has a detailed assumption of the error term and is more efficient than the pooled OLS. The fixed effects estimator decomposes the error term into the individual specific component, mu i, and the random component, epsilon i t. It allows the explanatory variables to be correlated with the individual fixed effects, mu i. We have learned the first differencing method and the fixed effects dummy variables method. The former eliminates the individual fixed effects component, while the latter estimates the fixed effects directly. Today, we will explore the fixed effects demeaning method. We remember that it takes a long time to estimate using the dummy variables approach when there were many individuals. A more commonly used method for individual fixed effects is the demealing method. It is also the method Stata adopts when we use the xtreg command with the fixed effects option. In this method, we first average within each individual over time and have the yi bar equation. Notice that the time invariant error component remains unchanged as well as all the time invariant variables in the model. After subtracting the individual mean from each observation, we get the demeaned data and the demeaning regression. The time invariant unobserved component mu i has been eliminated in the demeaning equation. So the estimate of beta is consistent. The method is called the fixed effects demeaning method. The resulting estimator is called a within estimator because we transform data within each individual. We subtract the individual mean within each individual panel. The fixed effects demeaning method has its advantages. It runs much faster than the fixed effects dummy variables method, and it does not need more assumptions about the fixed effects and the random component of the error term. But it also has its disadvantages. The time invariant variables in the model will also be removed, such as educational attainment and gender in our sample. We could not estimate a gender gap or education effect on wage using the demeaning method. Let's continue to use the panel dataset for US workers. It contains wage, union status, gender, educational attainment, and other information for US workers between 25 and 54 years of age. Suppose we are interested in the relationship between wages and the workers' union status. Let's fit the pooled OLS regression. We type regress, log wage, union, schooling, gender, and the option of the variance covariance matrix. The cluster in the ID specification accounts for the correlation between observations within individuals. We executed and find that union members earn around 7.7% .7 more than non union members on average. Next, let's run the random effects model using the xtreg command 
and the random effects option. We type XT reg, log wage, union, schooling, gender, and the option RE. We see that union members earn 6.4% more than non union members. Next, we employ the individual fixed effects method by replacing the RE option with the FE option. The effect of union status on wages reduces to 5.3%. Notice that the time invariant variables are dropped from the model because the fixed effects transformation eliminates them. We usually use the dummy variables method to account for the time fixed effects. We add the year dummies to the model and omit the time invariant, schooling, and gender variables. Let's execute it and look at the output closely. We have the number of observations and the number of individual workers. On average, we observed workers around four times. The three R squares tell us how many variations the model can explain. The estimate suggests that Julian members earn about 5% more than non Julian members on average after accounting for the individual fixed effects and the time fixed effects. The year dummies tells us that compared to the base year 2010, the average wage increased for all the workers in the following years, suggesting an improving economic condition over time. At the bottom of the output, we find the square root of the variance of individual fixed effects and the square root of the variance of the random component. The value row indicates that 77% of the variations are caused by individual fixed effects. We have learned the three methods for panel data models. You may wonder how to choose between the fixed effects demeaning method and the first differencing method. It can be proved that they are identical when there are only two time periods. When there were more than two time periods, both methods lead to consistent estimates, but different efficiency. The choice depends on the assumptions about the error term. If the error term follows a random walk, which means there is a highly substantial positive serial correlation, then epsilon i t minus epsilon i t minus one will not be serially correlated, but epsilon i t minus epsilon i bar will be serially correlated. The first differencing estimator is more efficient than the fixed effects within estimator. On the other hand, if epsilon is not serially correlated, then the fixed effects within estimator is more efficient than the first differencing estimator. In many cases, the error term exhibits some positive serial correlation, but perhaps not as much as a random walk. Then we cannot easily compare the efficiency of the fixed effect and first differencing estimators. We will talk more about the fixed effects and the random effects in the next video. Thank you.